Hi, this is part two of Bluetooth with NXT Robots. Part one covered how do you connect two NXT robots together. We're now going to look at uh, creating a program to actually make these robots talk to each other and do something. So to start off with, I'm going to create a program for my master robot. This one up here. What we've got with my master robot, it's connected to a push button, and that push button is connected down onto port one down the bottom here. My slave robot has a motor connected to port A. And the plan is that my master, once the button has been pressed, will send a Bluetooth message to the slave, which will then tell that motor to turn around. All right, let's see how we do it. So to start off with, we're going to create a new program. First program I'm going to create is the master program. So I'm going to call it master, hit the go button. First step, come up to the flow section and I'm going to choose a wait block. And we are going to wait for the touch sensor on port one. And in this case, we're going to choose bumped. And what that means is we're going to wait for the button to be pressed in, but also wait until it's been released before we do anything. So once that button has been bumped, we then need to send that Bluetooth message across to the other, to the slave robot. I'm going to come up here to actions. In actions, across to send message. So in the send message block, we're going to leave it on connection slot one. Check out part one for what the connection slots actually mean. And the message I'm going to send, we can send three different types of messages. I can send a text message. Um, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. I could send a number, 47, 86, minus 23. Or I could send logic, either true or false. In most cases, I tend, um, generally tend to choose the number option. And the number I'm going to send in this case here, I'm just going to randomly pick a number. We're going to pick the number 38. I'm going to send the number 38 via Bluetooth. I'm going to send it on mailbox one. We're not going to play with that option. So there's my master program. Wait until the button has been pressed and then send the number 38 via Bluetooth to the slave. Let's plug in our master and download this program. Hit the download button. There we go. So there's our master program. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a program for the slave. So back to my lobby, create a new program. This one we're going to call slave and hit the go button. Now for this program, the slave is going to wait until it receives that number, that number 38. And when it receives that number 38, it's going to make that motor spin around. So the first thing we need to do here is again, choose a wait command. But instead of waiting for the touch sensor, we're going to wait for receive message. Now in this case here, the me message that we want to receive, the type of message, we're receiving a number. And the number I'm looking for is the number 38. Doesn't matter what number the master sends as long as the slave is looking for that same number. And again, we're going to receive it on mailbox one. Once I've received that message, I need to do something, and in this case here, we're going to make that motor spin around. So I'm going to come to Action, choose a motor block. It's already set up to be port A. We'll just slow that down a little bit so we can see what's happening. 50%, and we're going to make that turn around two complete rotations. So again, wait until I receive that Bluetooth message, and in this case, the number 38 and then make that motor turn around. And don't jump onto this block until that number 38 has been received. All right, let's plug in our slave and download this program. There we go. Now I've already connected my two NXTs up via Bluetooth. Check out part one of this tutorial to see how we did that. And let's see if we can find our program. So I'm going to start with our slave. We're going to go to my files, software files. There's my slave file and now run. So my slave is now waiting for that Bluetooth message to come in. It's waiting for that number 38. And here's my master. Let's get the master program running. So we've got my files, software files. There's the master program and then make it run. So now the master program is waiting until the push button has been pressed. Once the push button's pressed, it's then going to send that number 38 across to the slave. 
the slave waits until it gets the number 38 and then hopefully fingers crossed that motor will turn around. Let's give it a go. And there you have it, sending a Bluetooth message between NXTs. Check out part 3 where we do something a little bit trickier.